have nothing prepared, so I'm winging this FYI, bear with me. It was January 26th of 2017, and I had completed deliveries on the Iowa Pet, the Iowa City Pet Mall, and was walking back to my truck when I came across a group of protesters burning three American flags. I had minimal time to decide what I was going to do, and I had two options, which were get in my truck and leave and ignore the, pro ignore the problem, or stop it. The only choice I had in my mind was to stop it. I got to my truck, grabbed my fire extinguisher out, and at that time, they proceeded to light the flags on fire. I came up from behind them, got into where the flags were burning, and hosed all of them down, and grabbed two out of three of them. And in my best mind, used what my drill sergeants had always yelled at me, which was, what expletive were you thinking of doing here? And walked out of the area. As I got back to my truck, I heard somebody say, light the other flag, which again, in my mind, I was like, okay, round him. <laughs> I went back into the crowd and was tried to be stopped by some of the protesters. They were not going to stop me. It was 15 on one, and I came out victorious with two thirds of the flags. There was no way I was not gonna win this fight. And to me, when it was all said and done, I got back to my truck, called my boss, and the words that came out of my mouth were, sorry, not sorry. And he has known me for seven years now and knows what kind of guy I am. And I explained to him what went on and he's like, well, okay, well, let me know what happens. When the police arrived, the, one of the sheriffs that, or the Iowa City police officer that first arrived on scene was a friend of mine who I had, in my time of walk, walking the streets of Iowa City, had run into many times. He walks up to my truck very politely, and first words out of his ma mouth were, Hi, Matt. I was like, Hi, John. How are you doing today? And the funniest thing I saw that day was look on the protesters' face of complete shock and disgust. Because they were like, Oh, how does he get to know this cop? And I'm like, Well, it's respect. And after dealing with all that, in my mind, after the political climate we had been in for the past eight years, I expected more backlash just from what I had seen. And the first people to come up to me came up to me and said, thank you. You were the only person who stopped us. People were driving by, walking by, yelling at them, but nobody else stopped it. And to me, I have sent somebody home under that flag. And to me, each thread of this flag is somebody's memory. Someone who got a flag instead of a loved one at home. And burning it or disgracing it is unacceptable. And to me, it was one choice and one choice only. And I did what I had to do. And if I had lost my job, I was okay with it. It never crossed my mind at the time of losing my job or risking it. Because to me, the flag means more to that. I was raised to respect the flag, to respect my country. And it's my parents that brought me up that way. And I have nothing but thankfulness to them for teaching me respect and to honor my country and honor my flag. And I believe it's something that needs to be taught more in this world. And to me, that's more important than a job. I love this country. I fought for this country, and like I said, I have had the unfortunate time to send someone home. And if I had not done what I did, to me it felt like I was turning my back on my veterans, my brothers, my sisters, and everyone that has served this country. Thank you. <laughs>